You know, I th God chooses people to do his bidding. I think he has chosen people to be sculptors, and I think he has chosen people to be painters. He's called people to be plumbers. You know, it's, there's all kinds of art, <laughs> you know. Um, and I think that if he has called you to do that, then you turn around and you lay down your gift at his feet. That's where the anointing comes from. I think you can pick up your gift just like people in secular music do. I mean, there are artists that I could name that I feel have maybe even anoint, an anointing of sorts, but from the dark side, they have a natural gift to sing and perform and they're very good at it, but they have not submitted that gift to the Lord. So therefore there's not that anointing on it. They may have submitted that gift to some other powers that be, but uh, God gives gifts to people and we can use them for him or not. He doesn't take away the gift. You know, he says God's gifts are irrevocable. So it's all about how we use them or not for him. And I think once we lay our hearts down and say, God, I really want you to use what, what you've given me. I want to give it back to you. I think that's where you start. And I think that's where the anointing initially comes. There's a submission to what God's given you.